in main, we're going to uh, have to create a new car. We're going to have to create an, an object from the class. We want to create an instance of the class. We, that's what an object is. Um, so going back to this document that we were working on earlier, if the class is code, like a blueprint, that's what we've created so far. We've created a class in Raptor. We need to create the object now. And if our class is car, if that's the blueprint, what would be a specific object we create from a blueprint called class? Think about it for a minute. We're not talking about something general like Camaro or Cadillac or something. We're talking about a specific car. So what's a specific car? I'm going to use the car from Knight Rider. That's was called Kit. That's going to be my car that I'm going to do in this program. So we might need to look in here to how are we going to actually create the object. We've created the class. That's what all this is doing. We're doing our bodies of our methods. That's what we did already. We use this just like they show us the returns. All right, now in main, remember main is this section of our of what we're thinking about with our program. It is interacting with our class. If something's private, we can't get directly between it. Uh, we're using our sets and our gets. We don't have any sets in this program because the setting is being done in the constructor. Uh, we're we're changing speed within accelerate and brake, but uh, we're not really setting. So here's the way we do it in Raptor to create a create an object. Um, it's an assignment symbol, and we do the class name, or we do the uh, object name is a new instance of the class name. So back to our code. We want an assignment box. We want to set. I'm going to make a car named Kit to new car. And we got red down here, so we're good. Now, at this point is when you start visualizing okay, what does Kit look like? And you refer back to the UML. All right, Kit looks kind of like this. You want to draw something like this on your piece of paper or your, or whatever. You're, if you're using a software or something, so this is what this is what car looked like. Now I've created kit, and what and this was just the blueprint. This is just what it looked like if I wanted to make one of these. When I do make one, it's in memory, and this is what it looks like in memory. It's got all these fields, and it's got these methods, and it's got a place to store information about those about those fields. All right, so that's what we're going to do in here. Uh, you should pause it, rewind it, look back on that if you need to. But that's really important you understand how to visualize what kit looks like in memory. Kit is the object. All right, now car. This is how. This is when we create a new object, and you might need to refer back to the information about what a constructor is. A constructor is. This is very important. Constructor is a special method that automatically gets called when a new object is created from a class. Stop, rewind, write that down, make sure you understand it, make sure you memorize it. A constructor is a special method that automatically gets called when a new object is created from a class. So we're creating kit as a new object of the class car. So really this symbol, even though it's an assignment symbol, is a function call to the constructor function. And what does a constructor function actually, actually look like? It is the car tab inside the car tab. All right, this is my class tab. This is my constructor tab. So this is the code that gets run 
This is the part of the flow chart that happens when this happens. So this code is expecting a year and a car make, so I need to pass that in here. Right here. And it wants a year, I'll do 1980, and it wants a, which is an integer, and then it wants a make, and I'll say it was a trans am. All right, now we want to make sure that the other parts here are working. So let's do a, let's do a get, let's do a get make. And I can put that in an output symbol. And to actually refer to it, I need to reference the object first, which is kit. And then I can reference the method. And since these are functions, they have the empty parentheses after them. Let's see if it runs. Uh-oh. Git make, I never finished actually doing git make. I only finished git year model. So I'll go back and I'll change this to git year model. And there it is. I've output the year. It got saved here into the class because this really is a function call to the constructor function. And when I called this, it was going into get year model and it was returning, it's a value returning function. That's why I was able to use it in an output statement and it output what was held in the class. And I can look at it over here. The year miles 1980, make is trans am, speed zero. Now if I had to, um, if I wanted to call a set, which I don't have, but I do have accelerate, which is, you know, it's not something that returns anything. In Raptor, I'm going to do a call symbol, not because there's nothing output from accelerate. It's a call, normally, and we've done calls before, and normally it's a call for a function that we create, but we've already created this function. It's just a special function that's within the class, which is called a method. I could do kit.accelerate. Now that would, uh, notice it didn't give me an option to add a new tab because it recognized that Accelerate was already in here as a tab. So that's how we call this one. So to complete this uh, exercise, you're going to do uh, get speed and show that it's zero. And then you're going to, you might want to do just an output symbol that says, I am now accelerating. And then do this symbol, which is to accelerate. And then do another output of the speed to demonstrate that the accelerate went from zero to five and then do another call to accelerate again and then output the speed again do get speed again to see if it's 10 and you might want to put that in a loop because it's going to be the exact same code five times then you're going to want to uh, output or then you want to break you want to call kit.break and then output that uh, each time as you see to make sure it's slowing down um, and keep in mind that this is just one instance of the class. It's one memory location. I could have also made another another uh, object called you know, another some other car. I could call it General Lee. General Lee, the Dukes of Hazzard's car. It'd be one specific one specific car. But it would be a different memory location, but it would use the same cookie cutter. It would use the same blueprint to create the General Lee. All right, so that is um, Raptor with object oriented programming and a constructor in a nutshell. Uh, you got a little bit to finish, but you'll be on the right track.